just a great question when you ask yourself, why are cities going 100% renewable energy? I think we have no choice. What do you think? Yes, and actually the system is practically uh, um, killing the cities. Killing the cities because of the air contamination, killing the cities because of the noise. You're absolutely right. I mean, you go to the hospital and people are bringing their children with asthma and they know that it's the cars, uh, it's the buses, uh, all this burning of fossil fuels. They know less about the electricity generation, I guess, but people that read a little bit about it realize solar, wind, those are really interesting solutions for the cities. Uh, I think that's what Barcelona is doing. Yeah. Yes, and in fact, the sensitivity of the city is higher than the, the rest of the government, of regional, of national governments, because the city are living the problems of the actual system of energy. So they have to do something, and they can do something. The, the measures that provide from the, from the more regional or national levels don't attack the real uh, question. Uh, last in Spain and in Barcelona we decided to do it from our government, from the local one. And they think that people agree. You and I visited Freiburg, the solar city of Germany, and the network of solar cities, renewable energy cities in Germany, it's truly, truly amazing, don't you think? It's very good that we are not alone, because it's very, very difficult to be the first because you don't know the way, you don't know the resources, you don't know the plans, but to be together with another cities, the relation is really beautiful. We have to share everything. We are not enterprises, we are publics. I, I agree with you, and I love also that places like Uruguay, you know, one of the smallest countries in Latin America has become one of the mightiest ones. Uh, they just re-elected a government that wants to go 100% renewable energy. So this is not just wealthy countries. Uh, that's what I love about Barcelona. You have involved citizens on renewable energy and then local people are asking for it. Uh, you cannot have this quantum leap to 100% renewable energy without the people's support. Yes, the culture sharing is, is key for the transformation. You can't think that this is a, a, an old business with an old thinking. No, no, it's a new business with a new thinking. Yeah. I actually think this idea of 100% renewable energy, it's even more relevant for low-income countries, particularly low-income countries without fossil fuels that have to take so much of their money out of their community to buy stuff that it's really only destroying the planet at the end. Um, and people know that. Uh, they're just trapped on this fossil fuel nightmare, uh, and they don't know how to get out of there. And, and I think that's where there's a big role uh, of collaboration between rich countries, less rich countries, uh, advanced cities like Barcelona, advanced uh, countries like Germany, Uruguay. There's a lot of collaborative potential there. And of course, I think it's a solution for everybody, which is the situation of the poor uh, countries related to energy. So poor people have energy poverty, they take the energy directly from the network, so they don't have enough energy for the, the real normal development. If they can produce their own energy, they will domine their situation, they will be the owners of their situation. They have not to buy to the big companies. They are really, this is the, the new model, this is a model for everybody. You know, the movement, it's going only one way. Uh, it's becoming the status quo. Uh, I know the fossil lobby and the nuclear lobby don't like this reality, and they're gonna do everything they can to extend the life of their uh, failed paradigm. And I'm not ashamed to say that. Uh, it has to be said like that, because it's failing humanity. Uh, we're poisoning the planet with toxic energy sources, and more and more people are realizing this cannot continue, and they're saying enough already. And the challenge for us renewable energy guys is to do renewables 
the best way, you know. So local benefits are tangible, uh, that we take participatory approaches so people can be in, empowered for emancipation, uh, bringing, ushering, uh, using the best technology, ushering uh, a better world, you know, not just environmentally, but socially. An old professor of mine used to say, as people change technology, technology changes people. For too long we've had, had toxic technology making our lives toxic. The promise of renewable energy, if we do it right, if we really do it right, looking at social issues and how to involve the community and doing appropriate technology choices, is that we will influence uh, people's life for the better. Uh, and that's a real task and this is why it makes it so exciting. Uh, we're at the cusp of a revolution.